So what you can see here is the graphical user interface for our detox speech clearing system. Here would contain a video stream from the high eye, eye in the sky system, and over here would be a video stream connection to the grabbing robot um, on the grabbing arm. You'll find out more why uh, in a bit. There's two modes, there's the automatic mode, where it's the autonomous system, or you can change that to be in manual mode, and that gives the user full control of the system um, and gets rid of the auto elements. So in automatic mode, um, the high eye system has, has identified an object at these coordinates. We then have the option to send the grabbing robot or the scooping robot. So if we send the grab robot, it will tell us that it's moving to those coordinates. Or we can choose to send the scoop robot. Then have the option to cancel the instruction if we no longer want to go pick up that object. And that will just get rid of anything that's there. We can also check the location of each robot if it's difficult to distinguish them on the screen. So we can see that the grabbing robot is at these coordinates and then the scooping robot is at these coordinates and that's just a simple click of the button. We've got our wildlife detection system here and it's identified that there is wildlife near to the system but it's four meters away. It's not quite close enough to be two meters away. Um, so with this, it allows the user to alert the system to try and move away from the wildlife to be to be aware that that's happening. And here, this is just feedback to let the user know that the system is aware there's wildlife nearby. Now over here, it's collected some rubbish so that notifies the user we've collected it. And then it has also distinguished using the capacitive sensor and categorized it as cardboard. So if we know that the rubbish is cardboard, we can choose to send it to bin A, bin B, or bin C. Um, and simply selecting one of these will take the cardboard to bin A, and that sends uh, signals back to the robots, notifying them to take the cardboard and locate bin A, and then drop it off there. If we want, we can change that to bin B, and it will do the same, or bin C. That happened, but this is all designed to make it as easy as possible for one user to be using the system. So in worst case scenario, there'd be only one user in control. So by having all the information required in one place, it gives them full control of the system. The buttons and the um, indicators have been distinguished separately by two different colors, black and green. So there's no confusion by the darker green, which is the preset for LabVIEW, um, to a completely inexperienced user. Um, and all the buttons have been designed with user-centered design in mind, so that it's as simple as possible um, for even the most inexperienced of users to run the system.